Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Haley. I'm very excited today because I just tried a lot from the ColourPop for Target line. I have some thoughts. I was quite shocked by quite a few items. So if you want to see how I got this look, if you want to hear my thoughts on the products, just keep watching. This is a really exciting day for me because on the Bay Island, which is where I live in Hawaii, you can't get ColourPop anywhere because there's no Ulta on this island. I got a couple things. I got this ColourPop for Target press powder eyeshadow palette and it's their Send Nudes palette. They had a bunch of different colors, but obviously I wanted the neutral one. And then I got this highlighter. I only got things that I thought that I would use, but I got this Super Shock highlighter in Lunch Money, which isn't this the one that Allie Glines really likes. I feel like it is. And then I got lippy sticks, which I really know nothing about. And it's this little trio. You know, you know. Let's see. One swipe pigmentation, Parker and Brink and Ziggy. And then I got a lip gloss. So glossy. Ultra dimensional shine. And this is in the shade local. So it looks pretty. I tried to find things that would like look good together. I have all the rest of my makeup on. We're going to start with the... ColourPop for Target Send Nudes eyeshadow palette. And I wanted to read to you what it says too. ColourPop Send Nudes pressed powder palette features a mix of cool tone neutrals like taupe, soft browns, and shimmering gold shades in our iconic matte metallic and matte sparkle finishes. Create any look from your everyday to soft glam with super pigmented shades that apply smoothly and blend like a dream. Trust you'll be obsessed. I will be the judge of that. I'm excited. It looks really pretty. I was actually thinking like if I really like this, I could take this on my honeymoon because it's so small. Shade names are on there, no mirror, which makes sense for the price. This was very inexpensive. This was $14, pretty darn good. Probably should swatch these for you guys, yeah. So these did not swatch that well. And while I was swatching them, I had a flashback. I was like, this seems familiar. Those, what was it? The Bear, Bear With Me? No, what were they? Those two eyeshadow palettes, the Cool Tone one, Stone Cold Fox, and the, Bare necessities. I hated those. I hated them so much that I blocked it out of my mind. Wow. Okay, well, we're gonna give this a fair chance. Thankfully, I paid significantly less for these ones. We'll try to use as many of these as possible. I already have eyeshadow primer on. It's already creasing because that's just how my eyelids are, but it's the Anastasia eye primer. So we're gonna take this shade Hide BB and put it all over the lid. It's nice. It's a really light pink, like almost the same shade as my skin tone. I'm not crazy about my skin today. I'm using this, oh man, I'm using this La Roche-Posay moisturizer. I've been using it for a while and I really like it because my skin really loves it, but it's not great under makeup. It kind of like pills up and normally under foundations I can make it work, but this one I'm using the, the Shiseido uh, Radiant Lifting Foundation. It does not work well with that. Okay, next I'm going to take this shade Yes Please right at the end for the transition shade in the crease. For the crease as my transition shade. And of course it's going all over. That's okay. And on the other side. Okay, that was pretty good. Now, like I said, I want to use as many shades as possible. I think for the outer corner, I'm going to use this Love Ya shade. My eyelids are still a little bit dry, so it might be a tiny, tiny bit patchy from that but not as bad as the last video. Okay, these mattes seem to be blending pretty well. And on the other side, yeah, this is looking really pretty so far, which is good. The swatches kind of scared me, but I'm not really the best at doing swatches either. So yeah, these are blending together really, really well. And for the sake of using, like I said, as many shades as possible, I'm gonna take this shade here called No Shade and just darken up the very, very outer corner that one's not moving around very well. They're so pigmented that I kind of didn't put that much on my brush. Okay, this is a lot better. Interesting. The other one seemed a little bit more pigmented than this one, but once I really dipped my brush in, we're good. Pretty. Wow. These are actually blending together really well. I'm really impressed. This is what I expected when I tried ColourPop for the first time. I was like, this is what everyone's talking about, I think. Which makes sense, right? If you're going to launch a collection with Target, you know, seems like it better be pretty good. That's really pretty. Very smoky. Okay, other side. I broke my no buy for this, by the way. Those of you that follow me on Instagram know that. And I really only do that with situations where I either really want it or it's something that's normally really hard to access on the island. 
like this. I was like shocked they actually had it when I checked. You could like leave it like that, it's so pretty. Just add some liquid liner, whew. But no, we gotta have shimmer. I'm just trying to decide if I wanna just do bare it all all over or if I wanna put here for it all over. Well, you know what? Might as well go big or go home. We're using as many shades as we can. So oh no though, I don't know if I want this shade on. It's pretty, but all right, let's just do it. So I'm, I'm going in with here for it, that kind of gold shade. Uh, that orangey gold shade, okay, well, that's okay. Very pigmented, very pretty. Uh, not exactly what I wanted to go for for makeup today specifically, but it is very fall. No turning back now, right? So I'm gonna see what it's like to tap this Bare It All shade over it to just try to make it a tiny, tiny bit more cool toned. Oh, I do feel like that actually helped. Okay, much better. Notice it's just not so orangey, especially with what I'm wearing. Like this is what I wanna wear today too. I don't really wanna change. Now for the other side. Okay, I feel like it's getting a little muddy, but that's my own fault for kind of mixing shades. Let's try to fix that a little bit. Once again, go big or go home. I'm already doing it. So let's go in with this after hours shade, this darker sparkly shade and darken up the outer corner a little bit. It's actually really pretty. I don't know, we're just mixing warm and cool tones here. I'm just trying to show you. That's really pretty, actually. I like that a lot. Wow, okay. Yay, we like it when Haley makes good makeup decisions. I am getting a little bit of fallout with this shade, but surprisingly with the other ones, it wasn't too bad. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Okay, and I feel like while we're at it, I'm gonna take this more yellowy shade in the middle, DM me. It's kind of more of a sequiny kind of shade and just put it in the very inner corner there's a lot of fallout with that one. But it is pretty and it does add something to the look, I feel like. And then while we're at it, basically using every shade, um, let's go in with the darkest shade here, No T, and mix it with No Shade for the lower lash line. That is pretty, don't you guys think? I think there's only one shade at this point I haven't used, so I might as well use it, right? I'm gonna put this same brush in this Yes Please shade. I think that's the only one we haven't used and lighten up that lower lash line just a little bit with it. I am really impressed with this palette. Okay, I'm gonna do the rest of my eye makeup, put on some uh, liquid liner and lashes. Liner and lashes are on. Don't you just love how liner and lashes can just transform an eye look? This looks so pretty. I used, I forgot to grab it, but I used my NYX Epic Ink Liner just like always. And then I used these lashes I've never used before. These are the Kiss So Wispy, which I love the So Wispy line, but usually I use Pompadour, but I picked these up yesterday. This is their um, Pixie style. And I think they're really pretty. They're wispy, but they're not overly dramatic. You know what I mean? I really like them. Yeah, I think this looks really, really pretty. So it's time to move on to the other things in the ColourPop Target collection. I'm really excited. Let's move on to the highlighter in Lunch Money. So it's their Super Shock highlighter. It was only $8. ColourPop Super Shock highlighter features their famous Super Shock formula with a unique bouncy texture that delivers a healthy luminous glow that's weightless, buildable, and super blendable. This long wearing powder formula blends like a dream and can be applied lightly for a natural glow or built up for a dramatic highlight. So here's the packaging. This is in Lunch Money. They have others too. They didn't have many others in my Target, but I can see online they actually have quite a few. So let's swatch this first. Whoa, wow, this feels so bouncy. Ooh, pretty. And this kind of works because this is sort of yellowy gold, which ties in some of the shadows that we use. I guess I'm just gonna dip this in. I don't know how to use these. I've never used this before. Hmm, pretty. Kind of tap it in a few times. What if I use my finger? Oh yeah, this is definitely a finger kind of formula. Unless you guys can think of a very specific brush that would be better. And then let's do, let's start with using my finger on the other side. Wow, this is so bouncy. And then go in with, oh yeah, oh, how pretty. So I'm definitely more used to a powder formula. This is like a cream to powder, maybe. But it is really pretty. What do you guys think? Can you see it? Do I need to turn this down? Up. 
I think it's pretty. Now that I'm looking at this, you know what this kind of reminds me of? This kind of reminds me of the Jaclyn Cosmetics highlighters, the most recent ones in kind of the cardboard packaging that I reviewed. It almost feels like maybe she was trying to duplicate that formula, but I, I think I might like this one better. It's a little easier to blend in. Okay, and of course we all know the part that I'm most excited for, the ColourPop for Target Lippy, Stri Lippy Sticks Trio. Let me read for you what it says here. Okay, this was $18. I don't know if I realized that. Wow, that's like one of the most, the most expensive thing I bought. Let's see. ColourPop's If You Know You Know Lippy Sticks Trio features their iconic long-wearing formula that delivers one swipe intensity that stays all day long. Lip-loving mango seed butter, avocado oil, shave butter, shave butter? Shea butter, and vitamin E leave lips feeling moisturized and comfy, never dry. Wear alone for casual color or pair with a matching Lippy Sticks for a flawless pout. Shades in Trio, Parker, Brink, and Ziggy. I've never used this formula ever. Are the, these are lipsticks, I guess? It says long wearing, are they matte? Okay, so this is the shade Ziggy. Oh yeah, it says matte on here. Oh, interesting, I don't know if I was, I, I think I was picturing something a little more like, whoa, I am shocked by this. What the heck, oh my gosh, this is really pretty. I love it when I get excited. Okay, so that was Ziggy. Okay, this one is Brink. Not a great swatch. So this one is not quite as pigmented. It's more of a pinky. This one is Parker. Okay, so that's Parker. Oh, oh my gosh. I was not expecting this. That first color is freaking beautiful. That Ziggy color. But I had to figure out what would work best with this eye look. Okay, I actually think the Ziggy shade would look pretty. So we're going to try that one because that's the one I'm most excited about. Ah! Sorry, I'm like really excited. This is really pretty. Okay, they had lip liners, but all the lip liners they had left were cool toned. And I knew that this look was gonna be a little bit more warm toned. So I didn't go with those. And then of course, so I chose lipsticks that were more warm toned. Whoa, man, when they say one swipe, they're not kidding. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Definitely would be better with a lip liner though. This is shocking to me. Oh my gosh. It looks so pretty with this eye look too. Okay, I feel like I have to try them all. I feel like I need to look at the lip gloss because that's gonna determine what we wear. Cause I do have a gloss. This is the So Glossy in Local. Oh, this is more pinky. Okay, let's read what this says. ColourPop so glass, so glassy, not so glossy. I thought it said glassy. It's kind of hard to see. So glossy lip gloss features sparkling multi-dimensional pearls for a glassy crystal-like finish that feels super comfy on the lips, enriched with jojoba oil for nourishment and hydration. Wear your favorite shade alone or over lipstick for an ultra glassy palette that delivers all of the shine and none of the stickiness. Ooh, that sounds nice. You guys, I might have to try on that their lipsticks because. I'm really impressed and it's not something that I say like super easily about lipstick. This is so pretty. Gosh, this is more pinky though. I feel like this would not look good with this. I don't know. Should we try it? I want to try it alone too. Oh yeah, you can't really see it. Ah. Uh, I wiped that lipstick off. I'm going to take this makeup remover wipe and take this lipstick off because I need to try the other ones. I feel like we need to try the lip gloss on its own now. I don't know. I'm not that impressed by this. This is not, this is so, I don't know. This is really gloopy. Feels pretty sticky to me too. And man, this pilling of this foundation, uh, it's driving me nuts right above my lip. Yeah, I don't like this. I don't like this gloss. It feels like it's trying to be the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. I don't know which one came first, but this is not as good as that one. Do not recommend. Nope, I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, what we do need to do though is try those other lips. Let's go in with, this one is Parker. This is matte too, yeah. This is matte, it's looking less matte because I had that gloss underneath and then, yeah, this would definitely be better with a lip liner. I might actually go and get the lip liners. The heck, man. This is like hard to stay inside the lines. This is so pretty though. That's really pretty too though. Wow. This might actually work better though with like what I'm wearing. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then this one is Brink. Oh my gosh, you guys. These are really pretty. 
Wow. Too cool tone for this eye look. This is the one that gloss would look best over, but I'm not putting a gloss back on. I did not like that gloss. Was not a fan. I think, you guys, I have to put Ziggy back on. It's so good. Just that one swipe of pigment, man. This is incredible. That's like the kind of pigment you get from a liquid lipstick. Again, lip liner. Need a lip liner. That is everything. That's everything I bought from the collection. So let's kind of reassess here. The lipsticks are my favorite, hands down. So freaking pretty. They're all really pretty, but definitely Ziggy's my favorite. And then this other one, Parker, is a really pretty, like true nude shade. I really like that one too. Um, second, I would say the eyeshadow palette is really pretty. It definitely is better than the Bare Necessities and Stone Cold Fox palettes that I tried, the quality. All of them were good. I used every single shade. They're all really, really pretty. I definitely need to keep trying out this um, Lunch Money Super Shock Highlighter. I think I just need to play around with it in the best way to like put the formula on for me, but it is really pretty. And then this lip gloss, I hated, hated it. Don't buy this. I would not recommend. Do people like this? They probably do. But this seemed super sticky to me. I don't know what they're talking about, not sticky. And it's not super glassy. If you enjoyed this video, I hope that you'll subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, I hope you'll hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. And I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Love you guys. Bye.